Once upon a time, there lived a very wise man. He was a mayor of a local village. Everyone respected him, and his views and opinions were well regarded. Many people came to him seeking advice. His son, however, was lazy and wasted his time sleeping and spending time with his friends. No amount of advice or threat made any difference to him. It would not change at all as the many years passed and with time faded the youth of the wise man as he grew older began to worry about his son's future. He realized that he had to give his son something so that he could take care of himself and his family to be in the future. So one day, the wise man called his son and said, My son, you are no more a kid. No, you must learn to take responsibility and understand life. I want you to find the real purpose of life and once you find it, remember it always and you will lead a life full of happiness and joy forever. He then handed his son a bag. When the son opened the bag, he was surprised to see four pairs of claws, one of each season. There were also some few raw foods, green lentils, little money, and a map. His father continued, I want you to go find the treasure. I have drawn a map of the place where the treasure is hidden. You need to go and find it. The son loved this idea. For the first time, he thought that his father had a good idea for him. So the next day, he eagerly set out on a journey to find the treasure. He had to travel for across borders, forests, plateaus, and mountains. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. Along the way, he met a lot of people. He was held by some with food and some with shelter. He also came across robbers who tried to rob him and people who tried to cheat him. He experienced the best and the worst humanity on his way. Slowly, the season changed. So did the landscapes along with I. When the weather was unpleasant, he hauled in for the day and continued his journey when the weather cleared. Finally, after a long year, he reached his destination. It was a cliff. The map showed the treasure being placed below the cliff under the tree. Upon spotting the tree, he began to take the crown. He searched and searched around it, under it, over it, but found nothing. He spent two days looking indeed for the treasure. On the third day, he was so exhausted that he decided to leave. Disappointed over his father's life, he headed back to his home. On his way back, he experienced the same changing landscapes and seasons. This time, however, he halted to enjoy the blooming flowers in spring and dancing birds in the monsoon. He stayed in places only to watch the sunset in paradise or to enjoy pleasant summer evenings. Since the supplies he carried were over by then, he learned to hunt and make arrangements for his meal. He also learned how to sew his clothes and shelter himself. 
He was now able to determine the hour of the day by the position of the sun and plan his journey accordingly. He also learned how to respect others. He also learned how to protect himself from the wild animals. He met the same people who had helped him earlier. This time he stayed for a few days with them and helped them in some or the other way to repay them. He realized how nice they were to an ordinary or passerby who had nothing to offer to them in return. When he reached home, he realized it had been two years since he left the place. He walked straight into his father's room. Father, he said. The father immediately jumped to his feet and hugged his son. So, how was your journey, my son? Did you find the treasure? He asked the journey was the fascinating. Father, but forgive me for I wasn't able to find the treasure. Maybe somebody took it before I reached. He surprised himself with what he said. He wasn't angry at his father. Instead, he was asking for forgiveness. There wasn't any treasure in the first place, my son. The father answered with smiling. But why did you send me to the... To find it then? The son asked. I will surely tell you why. But first, you tell me how your journey to the place, did you enjoy it? Of course, father. I didn't. I had no time. I was worried someone else would find the treasure before I did. I was in a hurry to reach the cliff. But I did enjoy the journey on my way back home. I made many friends and witnessed miracles every day. I learned so many different skills and the art of survival, there was so much. I learned that it made me forget the pain of not finding the treasure. Exactly, my son. I want you to lead your life with a goal. But if you remain too focused on the goal, then you will miss out on the real treasure of life. The truth is life has no goal at all other than to just experience it and to go with every single thing. The purpose of life is to live today's experience to the utmost to reach out eagerly and without fear for new and richer experiences a linear Roosevelt. This was his way to inspire his son. And this is our story of inspiration. Now it's up to you if you want to be inspired or if you follow the wrong path. Just stay connected. Thanks for watching.